because the John says, Beloved, believe not every spirit. It is not every spirit that will say, I'm of God, I'm of God, it's of God. Hallelujah. That's what, my, what, what uh, John is saying that because many false prophets have gone into the world, they were part of the body, but they got they are preaching apostasy. They are preaching false teachings. If you cannot identify, somebody says, I, I am of Christ, but you cannot identify the love of Christ in the person, then that should be one of the marks to show that that person is really not of God. Because that's what the Bible says. Hallelujah. Pastor, you want to add something? Yes. So, you see, let's come to a place. We are talking about false teachers, false paths, but these are some of them. Before we got to this point, the Bible does say, if you are saying you are of God, but you don't have love for your fellow sister, for your fellow brother in the body, then you are a liar. You are not born of God. Because those who are born of God love. So where is the love of God if you hate your brother? Where is that spirit of God? Because we know that the spirit of God is love. Hallelujah. These are some of the things we can see that false teachers, false brothers, really do not have the true spirit of God. Amen. Amen. If I say I'm a believer and I hate pastor, where is the law? Where is God inside of me? Hallelujah. If I say I'm a believer and I hate brother Tony, where is the love of God inside of me? Am I not a false teacher? If I'm teaching you to love somebody, but I do not show love. I'm a faith teacher because I cannot practice what I profess. Amen. Amen. Believers, let's come to the, a place where we will put every weight aside. Every weight aside and begin to Love, no matter what. Hallelujah. God said love. He did not give any qualification. He said love one another. Amen. Don't, 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 don't let people see uh, different things inside of us from what we profess we are. Hallelujah. He said don't, he said, try every spirit. Try every spirit. How do we try every spirit? How do we try every spirit? Sister Pat, I know you have your mouth is moving, you want to say something. <laughs> by, by watching the fruit that they bear. Good. You can watch the fruit they bear. You can watch the fruit they bear. Hallelujah. Because love is part of the fruit of the spirit. Hallelujah. Love, which John has talked so much about, is one of the fruits of the spirit. Forgiveness. How do we forgive each other? When somebody steps on our toes, are we able to forgive the person so easily? Hallelujah. If we cannot forgive so easily, check your life. Let's check our lives. And the time when you come to tell me something, I'll tell you, look, we all have our problems. Let's think our, about our own problems. Hallelujah. Let's think, I have my problem. The person you are coming to talk to me about has a problem. Let's talk about our own problem. Even 
Even when somebody tells my wife something and my wife is telling me, I shake my head, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. I want to talk about my own problem. I have an issue that God, I want God to deal with. Hallelujah. If you come to say, let's pray for this person, fine. But to talk about the person is not my thing. Amen. Amen. We have to come to that place that we really love. Because if I don't want anybody to talk behind me, I don't want to talk behind anybody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Bible says whatever you plant, you will reap. If you plant love, you will reap love. If you plant, plant hatred, you will reap hatred. If you plant lies, you will reap the reward of lies. We realize that he said there is a reward of what? Of righteousness. Hallelujah. Brethren, there are false teachers in the world. Which John said, or Paul, Peter said earlier on, that they are going to deceive men. But let us observe and know them. Hallelujah. They say, Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. For he said, Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ. Is come in the flesh. Is of what? Is of God. But every spirit that does not confess or that denies the lordship or the sonship of Jesus Christ is a liar. It's a false prophet. Brother, you want to say something? Okay, hallelujah. He says, Every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. Hallelujah. Every spirit that denies Jesus Christ as the Son of the Most High God or that He has come in the flesh is a false spirit, false prophet. Now, the question is, we know that there are false teachers who are known to not in the fact that they, but they are false teachers. How do we recognize them? Pastor, can you help us out? They are preaching the word of God. Pastor, we say, they are preaching the word of God. It's not that they are preaching the but. They say, but. How do we identify them? Well, last week, we, uh, was it last week? When they when just went Make cross reference to uh, Peter, first Peter, chapter, what is chapter 4? This is very clear. Oh, chapter 3. Chapter 4, yeah, first Peter, chapter 4. Mm. Yeah, first Peter, chapter 4. It was second, I think, second. It was second Peter. Second Peter. Chapter 2. Chapter 2. It's quite obvious. If we read there, mm -hmm. it's a long one. I think we started from somewhere. Yeah, I think it was uh, from yeah. verse 12. Verse 12, yes. That, that is just a checklist. A checklist. If you look at 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 12. 12 to the end, actually. It's a checklist, but these are natural brute beasts. Made to be taken and uh, and destroyed. Speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly, you know, perish in their own corruption, mm -hmm. and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness, mm -hmm. as they that come with pleasure to rot in the daytime. Mm -hmm. And so, so we continue reading. Look at fourteen. Having eyes full of adultery mm -hmm. and that cannot cease from sin. Mm -hmm. that, that's very critical. Yes, they cannot cease. They cannot cease from, from sin. sin. Mm -hmm. You can see there are people, pastors, prophets, 
that will use the Bible. Mm -hmm. Because that was even where I was going. Yeah. They can even profess that Jesus Christ came mm -hmm. and is the Lord. Yes. And yet, they are not of God. That's right. Because when you look at this one, it says, having eyes full of adultery, mm -hmm. and they cannot cease from sin. Mm -hmm. Beguiling unstable soul, mm -hmm. in other words, leading them astray. Mm -hmm. On how they have exercised the with covetous practices. And it's a cursed children. children. Now look at something there. Having eyes full of adultery, they cannot see from sin. Mm. They beguile others. Mm -hmm. And they involved in a what? It was a covetous practices. Mm -hmm. That alone, that verse alone, if you look at it very carefully, you will know the man or woman of God, the woman or whoever that is preaching mm -hmm. is not of God. Mm -hmm. Is it that nurses from sin? Mm -hmm. As a man or a woman of God, if you constantly, and of course sin will come, know that they are so long as we are human beings. But if I say cannot so cease sin. from sin, mm -hmm. in other words, consistent. this person consistently mm -hmm. dwells in sin. Mm -hmm. Dwells in sin. And uh, beguiling others. Some of them, they use sweet words. Mm -hmm. Sweet words to make you fall for their for their primes. They can preach eloquently, mm -hmm. motivationally, mm -hmm. use enticing words that are empty mm -hmm. because they want to use that to endear mm -hmm. you to them. Some of them can become like a, like rock stars. People mm -hmm. begin to love them, follow right. them mm -hmm. because they can preach very well. Oh, that 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 pastor, if you see, but they you know using empty words, sweet words to begin, and then. Now, here we tell about conventional practices. Mm -hmm. It's all about what they can get. <coughs> money, money, money. And that, that verse 14 relates to uh, verse 3. Mm -hmm. When you look at verse 10, it said, And through covetousness shall they with like you are pay words of fables, make merchandise of you. They make profit on you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation uh, slumbers not. Let me add this. Now I don't know if this man of God is of the of God or not, but he reminds me of, of something. Somebody went for deliverance, mm -hmm. pay his way, and the family to go to uh, for deliverance. In the church, because this man is uh, you know, popular, people hear about him on TV. Mm -hmm. So when he went there for deliverance, he was in the church service, he went to see the, the man of God, the people that want to see the man of God should come after church service. Mm -hmm. He went, of course, he wanted to see the man of God, so he went to see the man of God. Narrated his problem with the, with the, man, of, the man of God. The man of God said, you know what? Okay, that's okay. So seed, I pray for you. The guy brought out uh, like how much? Two hundred dollars. Okay, three hundred dollars. And gave to the man of God. God. The man of God is it? Is it how much is that? Three hundred dollars. Mm. No, mm. that would not work. He no. <laughs> said, unless he bring that, you have to bring something that that will challenge you, something that will hurt you, mm. a sacrifice mm. that will hurt you, that will provoke God, mm. and that he needed to bring how much? Thousand or ten thousand dollars. Yeah, this is the thing. Yeah, ten thousand dollars. Mm. That is that he needed to bring uh, ten thousand dollars. If the person cannot afford, that is what he had. The only person that I did, at first I did not believe that until I found out that it's true. Mm. It really kept me worried sometimes. Mm. Why would somebody pay his way all the way from the US to Africa mm. with the family? That was all they had. Wow. For deliverance. Meet with the man of God, only for the man of God to say that the 300 or whatever 400 they had was too small. Wow. They needed to sow something that would provoke God mm. and even mention the amount where I should bring $10,000. Mm. So it, 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 it just, no, I, I, I don't know, I've not spoken, I don't, I don't ask God about this man whether he's of God or not. But when you begin to read what is here, God, yes, you can, you, can, you can deduce by yourself. It keeps me wondering. Why would you do that? Mm -hmm. Even without any small sympathy that this guy traveled all the way from the US. Yes. And I guess he 
again, the, the payroll or the healing of God is free. It's free. You don't have to attach some, some money to it. Mm -hmm. well, I'm wondering, why didn't he do it? For the man, then the man out of his own heart, appreciation. appreciation. Probably if the man comes back and everything worked for him, he could give you more than the 10,000 you are even asking for. Somebody can buy you a whole big car without thinking about it. But for you to use the word of God to merchandise yourself, to make money, then there's a question mark. Give me money before I pray for you. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. All what we need is belief, trust that God will do it. That's right. You don't have to go looking for somebody that can pray for you. We all can pray for ourselves and get what we need. That's right. Uh, and, yeah. and let me pause you there. That's not bad. Don't you wait. Don't wait. <laughs> that, that is that's not completely true. Look, the when you is. get to this spiritual battle, you understand what they are things. Levels of anointing. Levels of secret Look, there are people, I was contemplating about this yesterday, exactly what we're talking about. There are people that have done all they could. They try to live holy life. Mm -hmm. They pray, they fast, they pay tithe, they seek God. But the back to holding them is very strong. They have done all. In fact, they live holier life than many people that break through in life. Mm -hmm. They live better life, better Christian life than people that, that break through, that get married, mm -hmm. that get what they want. Mm -hmm. And yet, yes. they are under serious demonic manipulation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it due to lack of unbelief? No, it's not unbelief. Because you can't do all those things. They can't believe that they shut down what can be righteous. It's the fact you can't believe that there are, like Pastor said, there are battles family battles, your, your cousins, your cousins battling you in the spirit, your family members, they've gone to, to, to like, I think that night we were going, pastor said his brother went to put something in the tree in their house, fighting him. You, you understand? So if you may believe, you may be believing as a believer, but struggle, there will still be struggle. So you have to understand that that's what the Bible says. If the foundation be destroyed, yes. what can righteous do? Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that to say people operate or people carry different battles. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't look at other people the way they pray or the way they do. Mm -hmm. What I carry might not be what she carries. The, I mean, the powers following her might not be the, the, the same. same. Mm -hmm. While I can pray, I can do three days fasting. A major breakthrough start. Mm -hmm. She might need to do 21 days dry fasting because right. the, the, the level of oppression you carry. And that is to say, sometimes it's good to seek the higher anointing. anointing. When we say higher anointing, it might not necessarily be higher than what you, uh, you carry. Because anointings are different. Mm -hmm. God anoint people for different you know, purposes. Mm -hmm. The fact that this one can preach the word of God and the, the fact that this one can deliver doesn't mean that the one that delivers is greater or higher. Mm -hmm. It means that that is a different call. Cool. There yes. are people that are like um, like the man of God at uh, what's his name? Edipala. Oh, oh, oh. It, uh, uh, yes, Kumu. Kumu. I love that man seriously. His anointing is to teach. That's right. He's not, he's not, he's not a different minister. And that's why you don't see him trying to mess himself around that he's a, a prophet or different. Mm -hmm. He concentrates on, on teaching. teaching. Yeah. He's not a different minister. And so there are, if you look at the word of mountain of fire, it's yeah. a different yeah. That's anointing. That's why they kind of pray and they pray, and when you go there, all they do is different. So sometimes it's good to, that's why sometimes we invite other men of, and women of God to come here to minister to us because they carry different levels of anointing. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's not about holiness, not about faith, it's about the I mean, the struggle. The battle. Look, this thing we're talking about here, there are people that have seen that they struggle a lot. They've done all. 
I remember one, uh, you know, pastor from a man in Nigeria. If you talk about somebody that lives a holy life, mm-hmm. to the best of my knowledge as a human being, that is one of them. Amen. But this man struggled with ministry. Oh my God. He will be, he start this church before you know it, he will collapse. He will move to the next one. He start this one, he will collapse. Mm-hmm. Start this, he has started more than four churches. He mm-hmm. will all collapse. And he's a very nice man. Right. So, there are many battles you face in life that you live a higher and a level than okay. you before. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Mr. Pat, is Pastor Clay now? Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. But I thought you were going to read, you you are about to raise up your hands. I think it's the pastor has pastor asked Hannah. the question. Amen. You know, that's what Hallelujah. Like if, if you have credit, you want to go buy a car, and they might reject that your credit. You might go get somebody who has a better credit who could stand for you. So you need a man with a better anointing or a different anointing to stand in gap for you to break it. Amen. You know, that is that's what I is all the question. Ever doubt that sometimes the problem we have could be that is our God want to work on us. It is possible. Trying to remove that problem. Like Paul. But the problem we have is trying really trying to show up to shape us yeah. to the level we're supposed to. That is true, number one. And it is also true and not true. Let me talk about it in part first. I agree with you. Every, every battle you go through as a child of God is to prepare you, to strengthen you, to increase your desire for God, mm-hmm. to make you a better man or woman spiritually. But if, the, if this struggle in your life is something that forever will lead you away from God, you look. Let me do something. There are situations in your life that will lead you away from God instead of leading you to God. In fact, sometimes because of too much struggle, many people fall away from God. Yeah, don't you know that? There are people that fall away from God because of too much persecution and battle. And it's not supposed to be supposed to lead you to God more and more. But when it becomes too much to bear, people start looking for help. Yeah. Where they are not supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is true. But I will add to it. I just, um, I think, was it three weeks ago or last week, uh, a pastor friend of ours called my wife. He said he's going through a whole lot of things and that he think God has failed mm-hmm. him and that he was going to just live a whole big day. And my wife said, hey, 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 hold on. See, God doesn't fail anybody. First, check your life. And if you check your life and you are on the right course, know that whatever you are going through will eventually bring glory to God. Because if it will not bring glory to God, God will stop it in the middle of the road. Because everything that the believer goes through. The Bible says they work together for the good of those who love God. And yesterday, Papa was talking to me, called me in the night, uh, in the evening, and uh, I told him, "Look, Pastor Papa, everything that I'm going through now, there's a limit." Then say, "Yes, there is coming to an end." Hallelujah! Because God revealed. I think I said it here in the dream that I had gone back home and my house was, you no, know, garbage were in the house and I started clearing everything, hallelujah. I took broom and I was clearing everything. So, you see, when, when we go through some things, don't let us cry. Ask God, God, for what purpose am I serving in this circumstance? God will reveal it to you and you begin to glorify God because in the end, his name will be glorified. Okay. Let me give you one clear, a practical case. 
This is real, this is not story. Now, this man of God got married. As a young man, he was driven for the law. Mm -hmm. He was the assistant pastor in the church, and then he was fervent. And he saw his sister in the church, mm -hmm. and got married to the sister. Okay. The day, a day before the wedding, a man came to him, walked to him, physical, this is not dream, mm -hmm. this is not revelation. As we were standing, a man walked to him, he said, oh, you are getting married to so, 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 uh, uh, tomorrow. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you? He said, don't worry about who I am. <laughs> but you know that's not your wife. Because what, what are you talking about? I'm married again. Or she used to be your girlfriend or what? He said, not, she's not, not used to be my girlfriend. She's my wife. Hmm. You know you can't marry her. Hmm. So the man was getting, uh, trying to open uh, But my wife, this man doesn't tell me how to have a man. As she turned around, the man disappeared. Wow. The man disappeared. Physically. He was then a man, he was a very human being. He met the wife to be that I said, what is going on in your life? See what happened. The woman said, I told you when you wanted to marry me. This person, personality, this power, has been tormenting me. Mm -hmm. Now you see. You still wanted to marry me. Are you, are you ready to marry me? He said, I'm going to marry you. Yeah, you don't yeah. marry. Now, to cut the long story short, this man, this evil personality, tormented this marriage no. to the point that the man who stay at home, a snake who crawl into the house. Mm. Mm. Crawl in into the house. So, to cut the long story short, needless to tell you that this man started a ministry, nothing worked. No child in that marriage. Everything, the man was a little bit rich. Everything this man works collapsed. Oh. Now tell me, oh. would you say that kind of man would not need serious deliverance? He yeah, would. Well. Yeah. His own prayer would not deliver. Mm -hmm. You know why? Yeah. I always tell somebody this. Sometimes, you see, this is my wife. I can pray for my wife and take start at me. Mm -hmm. But in very tough spiritual situation, I will not be able to pray for That's her. Right. You know what I do? I take care to another man of God. You know why? Because he doesn't believe me. Mm -hmm. At that level. level. Yes. If you don't believe when I pray for you, not it will not work. work. Yes. Even in this church. Okay. Any man or woman, any brother or sister in this church that does not believe the call of God upon my head. Mm -hmm. If I pray for you, I'm wasting you are wasting your time. Mm -hmm. because, you're not, because you don't believe me. Yes. That's why the Bible says Jesus could not perform miracle in Nazareth. Mm -hmm. Because the people did not believe. Hallelujah. I've said here before that the, the, the anointing you do not respect, you don't benefit from it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the end. We want to end here. We'll continue. Uh, on Wednesday, I want to invite all of you to Wednesday Bible study. This is coming from Wednesday Bible study. Shall we bow down here? Jehovah God, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory. We commit the next section into your hands, O oh God. We thank you for your word that we have shared here to this morning. I pray that, my God, you open the heart of your people, the minds of your people. I pray that, Lord, the minds of your people will focus in this place this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare healing over your people. I declare deliverance over your people this morning, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, O oh God, let your angels be sent and ascend in this place, even as we enter into a time of worship, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.